Okay, so I need to get back into uploading videos and I'm just gonna do like a little talk. I've been pretty productive today as far as even I go normally. So what I did today in the morning was just journal right after I worked out. It was around six o'clock. And so let me just read what I put there so I can get a video out today. Not so much as to get something that's um, fully as educational or as long in length as I would want it to be, but just to put something out for me and my daily habit of recording and doing a video and getting out to you guys and teaching you something in the process. All right, so here we go. Let's see what we got. That is not from today. This one is though. So I said, okay, let's get started. Think a tating session. 9, 18, 23. Today and on past today, I will be waking up at or before 6 a.m. I will and did grab my mat and my notebook and bring it to the workout room and then stretch for 15 minutes. Some days, depending on what type of workout it is and on how early it is or is not, I'll take the pre-workout powder that I take. Most days, I likely won't. That's in reference to doing a heavy leg day every week. And the guys, men, you should do one heavy leg day a week, like heavy, because it's the highest testosterone boost you can get from a workout. So uh, I recommend it, but I take pre before it. It's not actually pre, I take pre creatine. It's a little little less hyper, there's no caffeine in it. So it's kind of nice, but I digress. Afterward, I will eat and then shower, but never before my thinkitation session, the greatest thinking session of my day, during of which I will clear my mind and state all the greatest issues and challenges I'm currently facing aloud as well as my current plans of action toward them and the current tools I have at my disposal that I know of to solve them. I will speak aloud and intermediately go silent as to bring in more knowledge outside of my own. My notebooks stay near so I'm able to write. Write all notes, solutions, ideas, thoughts until I can write no longer. This is in reference to something that I learned from Tom Bilyeu, which is when you have just worked out and you were going hard, going hard, you're pumping, you're pumping, and you're done, you instantly go into a state of meditation. You instantly begin to meditate, and I keep my notebook nearby. I have no idea if he does as well, but I would assume so. And basically what it is, is putting yourself into something called an alpha wave state, I think. And when you're in that state of mind, you think of things, I say outside my, my own knowledge here because referring to think and grow rich and infinite intelligence, you can call it whatever you want. He knows it more at a neurological level and can explain it much better than I. So if you want to know more on this topic, I would go look for Tom Billy Thinkitating or Thinkitation or whatever. I think he's tweeted about it sometimes and everything. So what does that mean for me? It means that every single time that I work out, I instantly go into this session where I sit down, I start to meditate, I have my notebook nearby, and I allowed state the problems that I'm facing, the issues, the problems, the things I'm going to crush today, go at today. And... While I'm stating them, I get information. You begin to think, whilst you're writing and stating these problems out loud, and a, in, a, in a much more profound and like, out, like I said, I said out of my own knowledge way. You get thoughts that you don't normally get. And I don't, you know, your subconscious mind, you can call it whatever you like, right? But point being, you begin to solve problems that you wouldn't normally solve in ways that you wouldn't normally do it. So I personally write until I can write no longer. And then I usually have some solutions that I just would never have came up with on my normal um, journaling, which I do anyways. So, all right, a little interruption, but ain't nothing I can't handle, okay? Now, where were we? So I can write no longer, okay. Today and every day thereafter, I will refrain from my reading until after I take and see through to fruition actions that will move the needle forward, so to speak, on my life and skill acquisition goals. Okay, so that stems from the fact that when I start reading a book or like, okay, because like just around me right now, I probably have like nine books. And when I start reading, I literally do not stop reading. And I'd like to take things from the book and then implement them in the same day so that I can actually start learning them, using them, remembering them, incorporating them into my life and my circumstances. But sometimes I'm guilty of not doing that. I'll start reading uh, Extreme Ownership, then I'll start reading Atomic Habits, and I'll and then I'll start reading um, The E-Myth Revised. And the whole time I'm just like taking notes, taking that, taking this, taking that, putting it into one of my little 
lessons of, of for me to remember, putting it into a lesson that I'm going to sh- send to my parents for their business and things like that, right? So I just never get around to actually taking the actions some days. Some days I just don't take as many as I want to. So I'm going to do the actions first, then start reading after because after I get reading, I just fall into a rabbit hole half the time. So anyways, everybody, that is my video for today. I'm going to cut it up a little bit and I'm going to upload it just so I can make the habit enforced, reinforced for me to upload videos every single day and teach you guys a little something. So if you didn't know about thinkitating or you didn't know that I fall into rabbit holes, there, there you go. So please have a very good day and spend time thinking and reading books. Peace.